right guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about if a chip jig head makes any difference as far as the amount of bites you get or if it affects the bites and where fish do or don't bite it. Um, I've got a lot of experience on this, so we're gonna to get into that in today's video. Um, real quick guys, here we are in September, falls around the corner. I'd like to invite you to please swing by and check out our fall lake map breakdowns at fishinamoment.com. Um, I'll put the link in the description here. This is a great resource to learn more about your favorite lake for fall time and uh, get some good spots. And if you don't know much about a lake, it's a really good deal too. So link in the description. Okay, guys, here's a common sight if you fish jigs much like I do, a chipped head. And it really doesn't matter, you know, what the coating is because there's a lot of different coatings that go on jigs that can be super, super tough and thick. But if you fish rock and you fish a lot of bluffy type rocky areas, and you fish that jig long enough, you're eventually gonna beat that paint off. I don't care how good it's on there. So this is a, a definitely a factor. Now, if you guys are fishing, flipping grass and fishing a lot of grass lakes or flipping nothing but lay down trees on sandy bottoms, you're not gonna have to deal with it much. But if you fish a lot of rock like we do here in the Ozarks or you guys out west or some of you guys uh, back in the uh, Eastern Tennessee areas, you're all too common for, or uh, familiar with this. Now here's my theory guys. I have literally dealt with this for 50 years as far as chipping heads on a jig. And this is what I've seen for my own fishing. A lot of it has to do with two different factors. One is the obvious, the water clarity. If the water clarity is dirty, obviously it's not gonna make that much of a difference. If the water is real clear, yeah, at times I think it can make a difference. But the, the main thing and the most important thing I found is how long the head has been chipped because what happens is as soon as that paint gets chipped on this one here, like see this jig here, the, the paint just recently chipped on here and it's still pretty bright. But the longer that paint that you fish an unpainted jig head that's been chipped like that, the more that the lead, um, I don't know if it oxidizes or fades out or whatever, but it turns a different color and it turns a lot more of a, uh, it's, it's less bright with that and it gets a little bit rougher. And actually, once that jig head, the lead gets worn down where it's, it loses its color and it gets oxidized, I haven't noticed any difference hardly at all, specifically in pitching and flipping. Um, and, you know, I am a stickler for detail too, because I, you know, if you look at that right there, you say, man, you know, that's something that's gonna be a strike deterrent. But overall, guys, I can tell you right now, it has not been. I Some of my best jigs, I, I've got some jigs out there that, you know, you've caught a ton of fish on. Like, I've got jigs that I have won tournaments on or I flip for two or three tournaments in a row. And there's just something about that you caught so many fish on that jig that you get confidence in it. And some of those jigs, the, lead, the, the paint's been almost completely beat off of it, but the it's got that faded look to the lead on there and I still catch a ton of fish. So overall, um, if you just, if you ask me if a chip head makes that big of a difference, you know, catching them or not, no, I don't, don't think it makes that big of a difference. Um, I, there's, there was one situation, I'll give you this one as far as painted head flashy stuff. A friend of mine, Danny Cree, a really good friend of mine, he was, we were practicing together for a tournament, at Lake Okeechobee, flipping those big one out sinkers, which are, it's a huge chunk of lead. This was back when they were actually lead too. This was before tungsten. So a one ounce lead sinker is huge. And anyway, um, everybody used black sinkers and, and Danny had one out there because he didn't like to pine very much. And it was bright, it was a bright uh, lead color. The, the paint had got, just freshly got stri stripped off on it. And he started ripping them on that unpainted slip sinker with flipping with on like a June bug creature bait or something like that. And he thought it was something to do with the flash. So maybe, you know, a lot of times if they see that little bit of flash coming down there, maybe that helps them. You just don't know. I mean, there's bass are so finicky and it, it's a lot of times it's just a guess. We, you know, we, we guess if th something is working or if it makes much of a difference or something like that. But ultimately it has to do with how many fish you're putting in the boat and how much confidence you have. So, Overall guys, to answer the question on the video, don't get, don't sweat it. If your jig hit paint chips off, don't sweat it. The worst thing you can do is get some black fingernail polish or brown or whatever and touch it up if you think it is a big deal. But uh, that's just uh, what I found out about it. So we'll talk later, see you.